In addition to, to seeing this as a global game changer, NIPT has had tremendous impact in our own clinical practices. NIPT, cell-free DNA, uh, was the fastest game changer I've seen in my clinical career. Uh, in the shortest of time, it was adapted not just by the clinician, it was sought after by the patient. Uh, here was an opportunity to have a test done that all you do is draw blood from me and I can know about the well-being of the fetus at 10 weeks gestation. There's nothing more dramatic than in the field of genetics as it applies to personalized medicine, as it applies to prenatal diagnosis and to the fetus. I think the applications of genetic techniques, uh, mass parallel sequencing, um, certainly the sequencers that are becoming available today for the laboratories to do these tests, um, I can see dramatic increases in what the non-invasive test will be able to do. The full microarray, the uh, genomic uh, comparative hybridization, um, uh, the copy number variants that we see in the microarray studies. NIPT has been one of those advances uh, that has had a dramatic impact on clinical care and what we do clinically. Having been able to participate in some of the research with NIPT has allowed me to bring tomorrow's product today to patients. It allows us to be innovative, informative, and stay above the curve. Um, by doing these things, by really sharing experiences with patients, uh, by creating these opportunities, clearly has shown that we can improve the perinatal morbidity, mortality, identify problems ahead of time, and give options to patients who a decade ago, five years ago, three years ago wouldn't have been possible. My hope, and truthfully my belief, is that we're gonna find means to treat some of these things that we find earlier. We're gonna find ways to do something about it as we advance our knowledge in these molecular techniques and the genetic application to prenatal diagnosis. Our experience with patients having the test is remarkable. You know, we see a lot of high-risk patients, patients who have uh, undergone assisted reproductive technology, IVF patients who may have gone through three, four, five, or even more cycles. These women are risk averse. The couples do not want to have an invasive test. When we offer this test and the test is normal, most of them stop. I've had enough. I don't want any more testing. I don't want to risk this pregnancy for the low risk chance that there's something wrong. So the test has been very well received, not just by the average patient, but the patients who you would think want to know as much as they possibly can because of the amount of time it took them to get pregnant. This is an ideal test for them to provide them as much information as they can.